Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Me and the boys still in the Kokari Wilds. In the last episode we found two hidden treasures already and we actually left off at this place where one of the treasures was buried and before starting this recording I went and double checked all of the explored area just to see if I missed anything and I actually did miss two chase and trail signs. One was over here and the other one at this point but they didn't really do anything just like the other uh, trail signs that just made a funny noise and nothing happened so I don't really know uh, what I'm supposed to do with that I'm not sure where this is supposed to lead me and there isn't any uh, quest associated with those so uh, let's just go on and uh, check out some unexplored area I actually noticed that near the start of this uh, location there is another path towards the east so I think uh, this will be the uh, place we are going to check out next right let's go and we see some Alfred already I'll get oh on this it. is it <laughs> well then I guess this was pretty quickly alright Never mind. Um, so I guess this is actually the only way we haven't checked out yet. Then let's quickly go over there. Um, Alright, this is um, the group of soldiers that got killed by the dark spawn. And we already have been to all of this. We cannot open the chest. This is the evil spot where <laughs> I got stuck. So I'm on the right track, yes. And I'm not seeing anything else that I missed. I'm holding tap the whole time just to make sure. Because those chase and trail signs, you don't see them. They do not have this glow around them unless you actually hold tap oh what is this oh I didn't do that I didn't save <laughs> okay interesting I see another trail sign and I see enemies ooh Herlock Emissary he has a yellow name alright um, Let's try out this new taunt. And I'm going to take out... I don't run away! Stop! Stop! Oh, this, this is totally a trap. He's leading me into an ambush. That's not good. Wow. Um, I think it's time to use my first health potions. You. Alright. Let's take care of this guy. Ah, and someone has attacked me from behind. I hope that Sir Jory can take care of him. Alistair, what are you doing? Yeah, keep on doing that. I will try to get rid of the emissary. All right. All right, he's dead. And a rogue. Okay. Oh. Wow, that was unexpected. All right. Damn it! <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. Well, at least Alistair is just as stupid as I am, so this is a comfort. <laughs> That's great. Traps. Um, I, did, I couldn't see them before, though, the traps, or did I just overlook them in the heat of battle? 
Except from a lo from local myth and legend, Pouch of Ashes. That's ominous. New codex, a pinch of ashes. Torn from a book on local myth and legends, the Kokardi Wilds are rife with legends and myths that have amazed and confused scholars since the fall of Ostagar in ancient times. One such mystery lies behind the tale of Astia and Nebuna, two young lovers who lived in Ostagar. The legend says that Astia grew up in the company of Gatheras, a spirit of the earth bound to an overhang on the bank of a lake in the Kokari wilds. Gatheras began to fancy her and they spent much um, of their days together, talking and laughing. Over the years, however, Astia became a woman and began to seek the company of men. When Astia met Nebuna, the two fell in love and Astia hoped to bring her lover to see her spirit friend. But the spirit, angered and jealous, bade her be gone. Gatherers told her that she would never see it again until she brought her lover's ashes and sprinkled them over their spot. Mm -hmm. Astia was horrified and she fled from the enraged spirit. But she began to miss Gatherers, and on the day Nebuna asked her to marry him, she cut her beloved throat, burned him, and brought his ashes to Gatherers, knowing that their marriage would forever severe her ties to her dear spirit friend. There are legends among the chastened that Gatherers still haunts the la that lake, and that those who sprinkle the ashes of the deceased over the right spot can summon the spirit. In memory of the contract with its beloved Astia, Gatherers will grant a single wish and then vanish never to be heard from again. A note is scribbled in the margin beneath the page. Marcus, I think this is real. If you take the ashes I gave you and scatter them over a pile of rocks on an overhang overlooking that half sunk into winter dome, maybe gatherers will appear and give you a wish. If the battle takes you there, I think it's worth a try. Huh. And it actually gave me a pouch of ashes. Alright, so I guess I have to sprinkle those ashes somewhere. I don't have a quest for it. That's interesting that they actually give you some codexes and don't give you a quest that belongs to it. Careful! Uh, let's pick up those chase and trail signs here. Oh, now I actually get a quest for it. The trail signs of the chase and have all alerted you to an old cache in the Kokari Wilds. Well, there seems to be a, l be a lot of those around here. Um. Okay, it's actually nearby. That's good. So, um, let me save the game after this unexpected battle. Let me loot the emissary. Got it. Hmm, a staff. So I hope I will get a mage at some point. Chase and cash. Yay! Oh, I hear you. I hear you guys. Yep. I'll get on it. Right. Don't mess with us. Now's better than mm -hmm. later. And let's have a look. Ooh, wow. Clean helmet, chase and robes. Lot of stuff. Actually, I haven't really looked at the stuff I got from the other treasures. Let's have a look if there's anything I want to equip. Hmm. This isn't better than what I have. It's not better than what Alistair have, has. And I don't know if I really want to give those two guys equipment because, like I said, I don't think they will be with me lo a long time. Um. Long sword. No, I think. Oh, wait. Tire 3. It has more armor penetration, plus one strength, but less damage. I don't know. I, I'm a sword person. I think swords just look cooler, so... 
I think we'll stick with the swords. Thane helmet. Is there something for me? I don't have a helmet. <gasps> oh, this looks awesome! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! It looks ridiculously awesome! That little fray girl with the giant horned helmet. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Um, Alistair doesn't have anything on his head either. Guess we may as well. Well, this looks a lot less awesome, but um, you'll have to deal with that. Mm. All right, I did get an amulet. Runic worry token. Restriction Alistair. I don't have anything, so I will take that. All right, I think um, we're good here. Pick up the elf root. And continue. Now, um, what was the place we have to spread the ashes? Mm. Something about it's a winter dome. I can't find spot anymore. All right, it's in the notes. If you take the ashes I gave you and scatter them over a pile of rocks on an overhang overlooking that half sunken to winter dome. All right, let's let's have a look for that place. Also. That is creepy. That is really creepy. Something's here. Oh, that's that's the dome. That is the dome. And a pile of rocks. And I think maybe I should save. I mean, we're just about to do some weird occult ritual. And we don't really know what this is supposed to be doing, but... Uh... Yep. Yeah. Sprinkle more ash on the pile of stones. Yep. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Of course, of course. We have to... <gasps> it's orange. No, Can that's I get you great. a ladder so you can get off my back? <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I hope this wasn't a mistake. No, oh, actually, I, I think we're doing fine. Say your prayers. And yeah, you're going to attack me and me alone. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> we are that awesome. <laughs> all right, this actually wasn't so bad, but it definitely didn't do what the journals told us. It didn't grant us any wish. So what did you drop? A potent lyrium potion. Well... Oh, there's more. Enchanter's footing. Hmm. Alright. So, well, that's a lot of stuff in this area. Hmm. I guess we can move on into the unexplored territories. I don't know if there's... Ugh, why can't I... Oh, I can't move it up any further. Let me quickly check out if there's anything here that I missed and then we move on to our quest marker. But seriously, what are these creatures doing with these statues? Um... I mean, I have found all the trail markers. There are no more journals, uh, quests in my journal. But who knows? Who knows? And it just auto-saved again. <laughs> Alright. 
Be careful, guys. This this could be another ambush. Okay, so apparently we are just nearing the quest marker. Hmm. Suspiciously silent. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. There we go. All right, let's do this. Precise striking. Shield bash. Oh. And again, I am opening up my back. This uh, Archer. Everything dead? Dead? Okay. Alright. Loot. 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 Ooh. Hmm. I'll have a look at all the loot later. I will pick up the elf root. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's check out our quest. I can see it. Warden's cache. Hmm. Alright. Quick save. Oh. Whoa. Well, well. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Whoa. Or merely an intruder? Come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey. What are you wearing, lady? What say you? Hmm? Scavenger or intruder? How does that even work? <laughs> Seriously, how does this outfit work? <laughs> um, scavenger or intruder? I am neither. The Grey Wardens once owned this tower. Tis a tower no longer. The Wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why? Are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. <laughs> She's a witch of the wild, she is. Oh. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Um... Uh... <laughs> well, I had a... I'm a well-mannered person, so... I am Scardy. A pleasure to meet you. Now that is a proper civil <laughs> greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. All right, Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. <laughs> How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. All right. Then who removed them? Twas my mother, in fact. Your mother? 
Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? Well, a thieving, weird talking log, perhaps. <laughs> Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. It is not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. Hmm. Um. I want an honest answer. Are you a witch of the wilds? Have I been dishonest? Some call us witches, yes, but purely out of superstition. Okay. You know what the Circle of Magi is, don't you? The Circle requires an accounting of all mages. That is the law of the land and the Chantry. If you wish to tell your Chantry about me, go ahead. I have nothing to fear from priests. Why are you interested in helping us? Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? Yeah. Tell us more about your mother first. She prefers her privacy, but I imagine she will be curious enough why you were here. Come, see for yourself. Well, I'm pretty sure I've looked at everything here, so let's go. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'll be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. All right. This will be interesting. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We <laughs> shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things. But it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your woman's mind give you a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as these boys do? Um... I believe you're crazy and possibly dangerous. I am not sure what to believe. A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. <laughs> so much about you is uncertain. And yet I believe. Do I? What? It seems I do. So this <laughs> is a dreaded witch of the wilds. Witch of the wild, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> they did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. Oh. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Uh, her voice sounds very familiar, but I can't figure out where I know it from. Uh, what do you mean the threat is greater than they realize? Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. You're not helping. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Well, this went a lot better than I expected. <laughs> Cunning broadens a character's access to skills, and I wasn't fast enough to read that. Um, oh, okay, we're back in the camp. It seems I still have my pretty, pretty helmet. And I think this is about a good time to end this episode. 
So, let's have a quick look what we're supposed to do next. Alright, we have to return the blood and the treaties to Duncan. And we also can bring the flower to the guy with the Mabari hounds. Um, alright, and this is something I have to do in Redcliffe, so... Alright. Anyway, yes, let's let's end this here and see you again next time.